up guys and welcome back to episode 5 of our instructional video series. I'm your host Sarah, except unfortunately I have pink eye today, so... Well you know Sarah, I mean I could always do your job. It can't be that hard. Well then fine, let's just trade places then. I mean your job can't be that hard either. Guys, my name is Ben Myers. I am the video producer for Infinity Athletic, and unfortunately, Sarah got pink eyes, so she's gonna be manning the camera today. And that's okay because backflips happen to be one of my favorite skills of all time. So, let's get into it. So there's three parts to a backflip, right? You have the set, the tuck, and the landing. And we're gonna start by breaking down the set. And action! <laughs> So if you remember from last week's episode, Sarah talked about entering into the back handspring. We have the three parts, right? The sit, swing, jump, okay? Sit, swing, jump, okay, and sit, swing, jump. It's pretty much the same thing for a backflip, except we're not setting back. We're not reaching, we're not making any rainbows, any of that crazy stuff, okay? We're trying to go straight up with our set. We need to give ourselves as much time as we possibly can to flip and land back on our feet safely, because safety is important. Was that real? No. Oh, what a fake. <laughs> so another drill that I like to give people to help with their set is to have them jump up onto something that is relatively above hip height. <laughs> I'm talking so I'm weird. It's okay, I was like accidentally cutting your face off. I wonder if you can see me over there. Oh yeah. Hi. So another drill that I like to give people to help with their set is to have them jump up, remember not back, onto a surface that is above hip height, whether that's a couch or a bed if you're at home, or a mat if you're at a gym, all right? So we're gonna jump up over the mat, land on our lower back, and roll and take our shins and touch them up above our head. So we just talked about the set, and the next part is going to be the tuck. And this is where we generate all of our rotation. It is important that you think about tucking almost from the bottom of your rib cage, not at your hips. If you tuck at the hips, you're basically just gonna do a straight tuck jump, and that's it. If you tuck from the bottom of your rib cage, that's what's gonna give us the rotation that we need to flip all the way around to our feet safely. So a lot of people, when they teach the tuck, they sometimes tell you to bring your knees into your chest. Now, I don't believe in this. I think that you need to think about taking your shins and bringing them up over in front of your face and on top of your head, okay? So a good drill to practice this is to lay onto the ground. And I want you to try to touch your shins onto the ground behind you. Now, sometimes when you guys are doing this drill, you might accidentally do a backward roll, and that is perfectly okay. In fact, we want you to go as fast as you possibly can. You're, uh, you're tired and you're just quitting. I, I never said I'm quitting. I'm taking a break. There's a difference. You're killing it. <laughs> you're kind of, you're doing okay. I could explain a tuck better probably, but I'm just saying. <laughs> now when you guys get ready to do the actual tuck, there's three ways that you can do this. You can either grab your knees on the outside, you can grab the back of your legs, or you can do my personal favorite, the cowboy tuck. <laughs> now the reason it's called a cowboy tuck is because you pull your legs apart like you're riding on a saddle. But this is cheerleading, not rodeo, so keep those knees together. All right guys, now let's try and put it all together, okay? Remember, we have sit, swing, jump up, not back. Rotate your hips under, drive your shins up over the top, plant your feet, and stand up safely. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be pretty sore tomorrow. The camera's kinda heavy. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah, that was super easy. I mean, I could literally do your You're job every liar. single time. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, that was, that was uh, not as easy as I thought, and I got tongue-tied a lot, and it's kinda weird being on this side of the camera, but hopefully you guys learned something, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ooh-wee. How do you get such smooth shots? Pretty simple, guys. One wheels. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> Not bad for 27, right? <laughs> 